Hey guys, how you doing? It's Dominic here, Video Gear, and today we're going to talk about how to set your camera exposure when using log gamma curves, like Sony's S-Log and Canon C-Log. Now the main problem with correct log exposure is that it looks underexposed and desaturated on your camera screen, thus making it hard to judge exposure with your eye. But before we talk about camera settings, we have to talk about lenses. There are two ways to measure aperture with lenses, T-stops and F-stops. Cinema lenses like the Zeiss CP2 measures the aperture and T-stops. The T stands for transmission and takes into account optical efficiency lost due to glass and lens coatings. So the T-stop precisely sets the amount of light going through the lens and we can use a light meter to measure and set the aperture. Still photography lenses measure the aperture and F-stops. This measurement only takes into account the physical size of the aperture, not the efficiency losses due to glass and coatings. Because f-stops do not take efficiency into account, the same stop number, such as t4 and f4, do not necessarily mean the same amount of light is passing through the lens. So with some still lenses, your image will be underexposed if you try to use a light meter. For instance, this f.28 lens measures t3.4, one half stop slower than the f number would tell you. So now that we understand lenses, let's talk about how to properly expose for log gamma curves. All log gamma curves have a specification from the manufacturer for middle gray luminance, and it's measured in IRE. For example, Sony's S-Log3 sets middle gray at 41 IRE, and Canon's C-Log sets middle gray at 32 IRE. And an accurate way to expose your camera is to use a waveform monitor and an 18% reflectance gray card, since 18% gray should be exposed exactly at middle gray. So now, let's take a look at 18% gray cards. Here we have the Lasolite Easy Balance 18% gray card. It's durable and can easily be folded up and carried in a gig bag. There is also the option of using an 18% gray paper card. However, they tend to be less durable and require more care when packing. Both of these cards work equally well and also double as a way to white balance your camera. So now let's talk about how to set your exposure using 18% gray cards. The first thing we'll do is put our card into our key light, where we want proper exposure. Then we'll turn on the Lumen Waveform Monitor on our camera or on our monitor. We can see here that 18% gray is currently at 30 IRE on our waveform monitor. Let's change the lens aperture to set the gray exposure at 41 IRE to set proper exposure for S-Log3. Even though the recorded video will look underexposed and desaturated, it is now correctly exposed for post-production. The process we showed you today allows you to properly expose for log gamma curves, independent of what type of lens and lighting you use. I'm Dominique, and if you have any questions, feel free to call us. Thank you, and have a great day. Hey, if you love gear and knowledge as much as we do, then subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo. Here are a couple more videos for your enjoyment.